Hello and welcome back. This is Candace from Candoodle, and I'm so excited to be part of the Autoimmune Disorders Awareness Hop today, which has been organized by my friend Tara. She has done so much work to coordinate amazing sponsors and prizes, so make sure that you're commenting and subscribing along the hop to increase your chances to win. I knew that I wanted to create a soft encouragement card inspired by the strength and resilience of so many that I know who are fighting these autoimmune disorders, and so that's what I decided to do. So let's Let's get started. So to make this card, I'm using the Simon Says Stamp CZ Design Peony Bouquet Stencil, as well as a sentiment from Altenew Sincere Greetings, and a Simon Says Stamp Nested Banners Die. I'm going to start off by aligning my stencil on my four and a quarter by five and a half inch card panel, and then I'm going to come in blending some Distress Oxide inks. So I'm just using Abandoned Coral and Festive Berries for the flowers, and then I'm using some Wild Honey um, for the centers of the flowers. And I'm not being super careful, I'm not masking anything off because I wanted a really soft and loose sort of feel to this. And that means that the green of the leaves is going to kind of overlap with the flowers, but I actually like the way that it ended up looking. This is a bit of a different color scheme than I'm used to using, but I tried to lean into it and just kind of accept it for what it was. And so once I'm done with the flowers, I'm going to come in and add some shabby shutters for my leaves. And this is a little bit of a more muted green. And as you can see, I'm just kind of rubbing off uh, towards the side because I was picking up some of that um, abandoned coral and I didn't want to contaminate uh, my ink pad, so I was just careful to rub off on a piece of paper towards the side if that happened. Once I'm done all my inking, I'm going to do my favorite part, which is peeling back that stencil. You can see that mine is stuck down a bit because I did use pixie spray, just because there are some very fine lines on this stencil. And next, I am going to move on to die cutting my little sentiment banner, which I just use one of those nested banners from Simon Says Stamp. I generally like to die cut first and then stamp my sentiment, especially if I'm doing heat embossing, just to keep it nice and clean. And so I'm coming in with my anti-static powder tool because I am going to stamp with Versamark ink and then heat set this uh, with some white embossing powder to make that sentiment really stand out. And I love these Alta New Sincere greetings. I chose one that says your strength is an inspiration because I thought that was really fitting for today's hop um, and how inspiring those fighting against autoimmune disorders really are. And so I am just taking my front panel and using my ATG to get some adhesive on there, and then I'm sticking it down to my top folding card base. I find it easiest to line it all up with my fingers so I know I'm not going over on any side. And then I'm deciding where my sentiment is going to go, and I couldn't really decide, but I ended up going towards the top right. I'm just cutting down um, some small pieces of that same black cardstock I used to cut the banner from because I like to pop this up um, but with not too much dimension so I didn't want to use foam tape so I just used a couple pieces of that black cardstock to give it some nice lift. Once I glued those pieces of cardstock behind I am coming in with my T ruler to make sure I get my sentiment strip nice and aligned. I do play around with this for a while. I'm a little bit of a stickler when it comes to getting things glued on straight. I know, I know. Anyways, so I glued that on to the top right, and then of course no card of mine would be complete without adding some gems. I did play around with placement for a little while, but as always I edited that out because nobody needs to see me struggle for that long. Once I was happy with the placement of them, I did come in with my Gina K glue and just kind of stick those down. And anywhere where I get glue that's kind of spilling out the side, I do like to use my craft pick just to make sure that things stay clean. And so that is the final card for today. I hope you enjoyed this clean and simple soft inspiration card. It's a bit of a different color scheme than I usually use, so you'll have to let me know down in the comments if you like it. If you're new here, hello and welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing. I post new videos every weekend. Thank you so much to my dear friend Tara for organizing this hop. I will have the next hopper link below as well as Tara's video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And of course, you can always find me over on Instagram at Candoodle Creations. And until then, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!